Okay, my first suggestion is to go to ETS www.tofl.org and find the section where it says improve your skills. Unfortunately, it's almost impossible to find this information at the ETS website. So I'm going to go over each of these areas with you uh, right now. So you told me that your reading score is 5 points out of 30. So that means that your performance right now is low. So I simply click on that link and it says advice for reading performance level low. Number one, I'm just going to go over these with you in case you can't find the website. Number one, read as much English and as often as possible. Read texts on a variety of topics. Read both academic and non-academic materials. Read about subjects that interest you and that don't interest you. Write basic questions to test your understanding of a text. Write questions and answers about the first paragraph, then guess what might be discussed in the next paragraph. Use your knowledge of grammar to understand difficult sections of a passage. Think carefully about the relationship between independent and dependent clauses. Look for words that refer back to some information given in a previous section of the text. Look at pronouns and find the nouns that they refer to. Look at relative pronouns, words like who, that, which, whom, and whose. Use an adjective clauses, for example, the student whose classmates are taking the TOEFL test and then find the nouns they refer to. This is a good suggestion here, this next one. Work with a reading partner, read different newspaper or magazine articles, write questions about the articles you read, exchange articles with your partner, and try to answer your partner's questions. Two, continually expand your vocabulary knowledge. It is important to increase your vocabulary on many subjects because you will have to read about various topics at the university. Review lists of terms used in academic textbooks. Make a plan for studying new words. Write a new word on one side of a card and the definition on the back. Write the sentence you saw the word in to help you learn correct usage. Study the words often and always mix up the cards. Of course, if you've downloaded my 1,700 vocabulary list, you can use that list to do your note cards. Group the words by topic or meaning. Study the words as a list of related words. Study vocabulary by making lists of opposites, words with different meanings, and synonyms, words with similar meanings. Review the new words on a regular basis so that you remember them. Expand your vocabulary by analyzing the parts of a word. This will help you understand some unknown words that you see. Study roots, a part of the word that other parts are attached to. Study prefixes, which is part of a word attached at the beginning of a word. Study suffixes, part of a word attached at the end of a word. Study word families, the noun, verb, adjective, or adverb forms of related words. Use the context to guess the meaning of unknown words. Notice when difficult terms are defined in the text. Look for examples with an explanation of the meaning of a word. Look at other words and structures around an unknown word and try to understand it. Use resources to help you study vocabulary. Use an Internet English Dictionary to learn correct meaning and word usage. Get calendars that teach a new word each day, or websites that will send you an email with a new word each day. Study the vocabulary you find on university websites that give information about the university and the faculty teaching at the school. Practice correct usage by making sentences with new words. This will also help you remember both the meaning and the correct usage of the words. Have a teacher check your sentences. Review the new words on a regular basis so that you remember them. Study the organization of academic texts and the overall structure of a reading passage. Read an entire passage from beginning to end. Look for the main ideas. Look for the supporting details. Pay attention to the relationship between the details and the main ideas. Learn to recognize the different styles of organization that you find in articles in English in order to understand the way the article is structured. Pay particular attention to connecting words or transitions that are used to show specific relationships. For example, steps, reasons, results, examples, comparisons, restatements, and conclusions. Outline the text to test your understanding of the structure of a reading passage. 
Begin by grouping paragraphs that address the same concept. Look for ways that main ideas in one paragraph relate to the main points of the next paragraph. Write one sentence summarizing the paragraph that discusses the same idea. Look at connections between sentences. Look at how the ends of one sentence relate to the beginning of the next sentence. Think about the connection between the ideas of the two sentences. Combine the sentences using appropriate transition words to show the relationship between ideas. And finally, to improve your reading skills, write a summary of the entire passage.